In this lesson, we'll start getting your local system set up to take this training course and learn useful things along the way. Just to be clear though, we're setting up a learning environment. We're not going to be using production settings. To install Couchbase Server, go to couchbase.com downloads to download Couchbase Enterprise Edition 5, whether the beta or release version. Choose your operating system, and then download and install the assets as required by your operating system. Or if you prefer to work with a containerized instance, go to couchbase.com containers. When you run the Couchbase setup tool to set up a new cluster, you'll assign a name for the cluster along with an admin username and password. You'll provide the host name and IP address, or accept defaults, and then assign paths for the data and index files, unless, again, the defaults work for you. Then you'll assign memory quotas for each service and indicate whether to use standard or memory-optimized indexing. Now, for detailed information on memory quotas and indexing, check our documentation and online articles. Once your installation process is finished, your browser should open to the admin UI at localhost 8091, or directly open it yourself. Bookmark that link. Navigation is on the left. The UI opens on the dashboard, where you can quickly review cluster-wide metrics. The server screen lets you add, remove, configure, and rebalance the nodes in your cluster. You can also drill down for detailed information about individual nodes. The bucket screen lets you create and manage these top-level data containers, along with their documents. The indexes screen lets you review the definition, type, and status of each of your indexes. The search screen lets you define full-text search indexing and run test queries. The Query screen is a full-featured UI for building and running nickel queries. The XDCR screen lets you define, filter, and manage data streams between your Couchbase clusters. The Security screen lets you create users and assign security roles. The Settings screen lets you control a wide range of settings, from compaction behavior across your cluster to sample data deployment. And then the log screen gives you log file access through the UI, as well as a tool for gathering cluster-wide or node-specific diagnostic data. We'll be using Eclipse for the demonstrations in this course, configured for Java SE8 and Maven. You can download Eclipse here if you wish, and of course you may be using other tools, such as IntelliJ IDEA, and you can do file conversion as needed from Eclipse. For REST API testing, you could use the HTTP tool add-on for Firefox, or maybe Postman for Chrome. Our demonstrations in the videos will use HTTP tool. In the introduction lesson for this course, you have access to download the Eclipse projects for each lab, along with the lab workbook as a PDF. There's also a sizable file of individual JSON objects, one per line. The workbook will guide you through importing the projects into Eclipse. They are pre-configured to use Maven to import the Couchbase Java SDK. There are nine staged project files, one for each lab. Each builds on the next. There is also a final project with all the code you'll work with in the labs already in place in case you need some help or you just want to jump ahead. Now, we do recommend working through the labs, though, because hands-on practice helps you cement your learning. You have detailed steps to follow in the lab workbook, or you may choose to just read the lab objectives and find your own way of doing things. Now in the next lesson, you'll be using the new CB import tool, available in Couchbase Enterprise Edition 5, to load the Customer360 data file into the bucket you'll create and use in the labs. So it's time to get to work. Download Couchbase, the course files, and any other tools you need. Then jump into the workbook to complete Lab 1, whether you want to follow it step by step, or just read the objectives and find your own way. When you're done, come on back. In the next lesson, we'll talk about JSON, data buckets, and data import.